Okay, so we got all the hardware here in the bucket for doing the job. So we'll lay it all out. Make sure everything's out that we need. Okay, here's our washers for our lifter blocks. So you got a sharp edge and a smooth edge. Sharp edge should go down like that. The O-ring sits on top of the washer, so if you don't have it in there, the whole ring will fall out. Or I should say fall in. It'll fall out of the hole. They don't work too good when they fall in the hole. Hmm. So we're not going to be using these old ones here, so they're out of the way. Not using our clips. This is your motor mount bolt stays here. Two of them. Big bolt go with those. Might be a big lock or something, maybe too. Nope. Okay, every one of these bolts has a washer that goes on it. It'll be the one with the big hole in it. So we got four longs and four shorts here. Missing one. There it is. It has a quarter inch difference. Yes. Get those out. So here are those. Okay, now we got all our little washers here. Got four Allens. Make sure they have their little washer on there also, otherwise they dig into the cover real bad. These are your old intake mouthful bolts we don't like anymore. These are your upper cover bolts. Six of these. Appears we have everything here. What's up with that? Okay, where's uh, our gasket? That's set? a good thing. Okay, so we have a bunch of seals. So we have our big gaskets on top. On an Evo, it doesn't matter if it goes this way or this way, it's the same. You just lay up in there like that. These are your O rings we need. So, where do you think these big ones go? Cover something big. That'd be a good guess. <laughs> Four big fat ones too. Well, you didn't figure out where yours did, when did you? Did you figure that out all by yourself? <laughs> You're smart. Only one to a hole though. Yeah, that's gonna go. And these ones they stick up inside the head, just make sure they stick up in there. Just like those ones stick there. Make sure the ones that are in there are not in there anymore. And they should be all removed. The biggest thing is make sure the O-ring is all the way up. I use my finger and go all the way around the whole thing to make sure it's all the way up in there. Make sure it stays up in there all the way. Push rod covers. Here's one of your fat O-rings here. We're not going to reuse. Okay, 
see. I'm going to put new ones in here. So you have a cover, you got a spring, you have a washer, you got an O-ring. See, I have brown ones in there, we use black ones now. That's from that back. Shove them all in like that. Take your cover and make sure it compresses in there like that. See? We didn't need that, did we? No. Good. If we needed it, it would have been on the floor. It's on the other side yeah. now. They wander. So did you customize your rough covers by scrubbing them? Oh, that was already done. Well, someone else did that. That's what it looks like when you take a green scrub pad or red one to your cover. To your nice chrome parts. And they're not fancy chrome anymore. There's some other color. Okay, those are done. Make sure you get rid of these so you don't reuse them or get these. Alright, so what was our push rod? Layout. Layout. This. Colors are up. So it appears we have violet first. Let me show you your phone, see. You got blue, yellow, and green. Now you ladies all up. <sighs> this should be the longest. This next longest. And then you have to look at the intake to see which angle intake is angled further. It looks like this one might be angled more, so that should be the longest one. See there's about a 30 tile difference. Mm -hmm. There's also a difference between these two here over here also, see? Yes. So even if you didn't have the right color code, you can figure it out by looking at it. The intake is the hardest one to figure out. So if in doubt, lay it up in there. See how it's almost straight up and down? Mm -hmm. See how this one here is slightly more forward? Mm -hmm. So that means it has to be slightly longer. So that's how you know what they are. Oh, you look in the book. You look in the book. You can put adjustable ones in there. There's a lot of ways of doing things. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're going to have to clean up the rocker. You want to put a little bit of oil on your top here. Tips here. They might not see any oil up there for a while. You don't want to be running your motor stuff dry internally. Okay, what cover do you want where? I don't care. You don't care? Front one on the front one, rear on the rear. Did you mark them? No. Nope. I mean, it doesn't matter then. I could tell you though from the... Uh, I don't know. Is there a difference in color? This front? I'm thinking the dirty parts in the front. Yep. See, we color cut, we exactly. matched it. We purposely did that. So this one goes in the front, or in the back of me. Make sure there's no powder coat on there, no burrs, no crap. Okay. Now how good do you clean these out? Do you clean all the oil yeah. on Yeah. So there's no oil on these now? So I they, clean them. So they're like bone dry now? Yep. So that means we need to work on these a little bit. Off of there. All right. I need to put some of this where it goes. So we can knock these out. Some more smell. You can smell the oil coming mm -hmm. out too. 
So, get on it. See the wear mark? Yes. See no wear mark? Mm-hmm. So they came out like that. If you do that, now they're new. Because now the bushing rubs on the new part, not the worn out part. Hmm. The groove right here dictates where it sits. Right. So you have to make sure you rotate this to where it goes through that hole correctly. So that's kind of important. So you can see if we put this one here, the wear mark is here. If we put it over here, wear marks on top. There's no wear mark. Right. The rocker pushes up, it don't push down. Mm -hmm. So if you reverse these once, you get new parts. Nice. For free. I always like doing that. So now to lubricate these, I just go like that. You see how the bushings have some wear on them, but not serious. You have to really rough in there and shoot up and better replace them. See, your fingers made just perfect for doing this job. <laughs> Was engineered that way. Okay, now I'm going to take these and put them in backwards. Now sometimes he's going easy, sometimes they're going hard. Obviously, they're going hard, it's best. Make sure it's straight up and down like it is. Mm -hmm. Pretty close. Just tap them in there. Do not beat it into the bushing. It should slide right through. Let's see what goes in there like that. Mm -hmm. Make it make sure the bolt goes in there. I do that, take the bolt and make sure it fits in there nice and easy. You can take it and shove it like that a little bit and it'll make sure it fits in nice and loose. You have no problem. So that'll go together nice and easy. And everybody thinks says you need rocker, locker things, whatever they are they sell now. It's a big thing on the internet, you need those stupid things. Uh, this one's locked in there already because it's made correctly. Piece of crap, twin cams aren't made very good. And these are just slipped through and they're loose. But that's not the noise. The noise in your valve train and the rocker bushings get loose. That's where your noise is. It ain't the shaft rattling inside this groove. Just one more trinket to sell you that you don't need. So you center about where you think it is. Give it a light tap. See how it started to center? Mm -hmm. It's on there now. It just slides in nice and easy. Make sure you lift your hammer up so you don't nick your black. Go flush again. And you see if you screwed up, the bolt don't go in. See how the bolt don't go in? Mm -hmm. So now what do you do? Pull up and you Beat in with a big hammer and screw the threads up like your job was before? No. Oh no, you don't like that one? You use a punch or? I use a punch. You can also use a Phillips screwdriver, it works also. So I popped over center, rotated, and the bolt goes in. As I went in, it spiraled this way a little bit. So, you know, it does it. So you can also go through like that and kind of go like back and forth like this. You can test them like that a little bit. 
and that'll center the shaft up too where it's equal in both ways so everything goes in nice and smoothly. Mm -hmm. Lots of different ways of doing it. The biggest thing I make sure it goes in. You don't want to be beating it in to screw the threads up and you go into your head and we screw up the threads in the head. You did fix that bolt, didn't you, we had? The thread? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think we fixed the bolt, did we? Because one of your bolts was out. Yeah. Because somebody did it on your bike. Mm hmm you got a turd sticking out there. What's that? One of those hairs again, but it's part of the... Part of the pad again. Your, your, your motor's growing. Yeah, 3D pad again. Yeah. Yeah, you're... It's growing hair. <laughs> it's cold. Okay. Is that fitting in nice and easy? Yes. That ain't how it's going to work, though, because we have to take it back out to put the bolts in there now. Mm -hmm. okay, first, we're going to look at your bolts. Because one of your bolts was bad. Yeah. That one, that one. That looks like a pretty crappy looking bolt. So these threads all look pretty nice. I'm pretty sure that's the one. I have to agree. So, this is the one that needs to be fine tuned. So, we need to put a die on this and make sure it's good and easy. We don't want to chew up our, the head like it was before. So, we'll get it off the side. Okay, you can't put the bolts in there right now because there's something called a frame in the way. So, pull that back out. And do this. Now, if you look at the cover out's made, these are lower than this one. So, guess, guess which one takes the short bolt? The, long, uh, the shorter one, sir. Huh? The shorter one. Which one takes the short one, though? These ones. Yep. Because that's lower than these. Mm -hmm. You like this table your bike comes I do. With? Pretty good, huh? Take advantage of whatever you can. They're using a blue Loctite, not red. So see these go here because it's long. These are the short bolts. They go over here. Okay. Now these we can put in later, but these we can't. So I'm going to put those in there. Looks like it slips right in. Rotate your rock arms so they don't be bind up. Put the gasket over a little bit. Like that. Move it around and get it started. Now these might be a problem too, so I'm not sure. Got to go see if they'll fit in the rocker boxes. I think they fit in there. We're not having to fight it too bad. Yeah, it fits. So it goes in there pretty good like that. So. Okay, now we need to get your motor at top dead center. I think we're at top dead center with the. Not quite. We are on the compression stroke because those lifters are all the way down and this one here is up in the air, you can see it. So I know that front one's on the overlap stroke. Phillips screwdriver does not break when you bend it. And this is a really cheap one. So right there is top dead center. So we can do those valves right now. Now before you start screwing this all together, we gotta get these in here. So take those back up. See if we're gonna be able to get in here and put the push rods in there where they go. So we got the exhaust. Those first. Get the lubricant on there. Once again, it takes a while before you get lube on any of this stuff, so pre-lube it. So this just drops down the hole here. And I dropped in. So didn't have to fight it very much, did I? Let, no. Let gravity help us. It's always good when you let Mother Nature go in your favor mm -hmm. because you're not going to win. Your intake. Hole. She's kind of easy to guide. 
we're going to look around, so that one goes in also. Rockers where they belong, push rod draw where they belong. It should be in the tips. See how that one dropped in there? See how it more equalized now when it yes. just went in the rocker arm? Because mm -hmm. I have had bikes, you tighten them up in the rocker. It's not in the rocker arm, it's off to the side. Because the rocker arm. It'll even open the valve up too, surprisingly. If it's hitting right over in here, it will open up the rocker. And all of a sudden, go. Pop. You hear a big pop and drop in. Wow. Yeah, it will do it. It's surprising, but it will. 